I'm back in the woods with Cassie Lee. She's somewhere looking for mushrooms. Back where we were finding artillery fragments, and look at that. That is the nose of a parrot shell, and quite possibly uh, part of the one we were digging last time. So that's an awesome start. Civil War relic a day keeps the doctor away. So another great day in the life started out. Let's see what else is in here. Got to be some more artillery, is my guess. So. Armelia Galisa. <laughs> they don't look the same to me, but they may not be. But that's what I think they are, because they're growing in a big cluster. I don't know. It doesn't look the same to me. But there's a bunch of them out here, whatever they are. All mushrooms are edible. It's just Almost whether or not they'll kill you. Yellow with a yellow annulus that is web-like. Occurring solitary or more commonly scattered to clustered fruiting bodies on the ground near a tree or stump. Sometimes fruiting directly on decomposing wood, usually in broadleaf forests. Fruiting late summer to fall and sometimes into winter. Huh? That sounds about right. Good edibles if thoroughly cooked. Hmm. Well, I can tell you who's not going to edible them. And they may not be this. I don't know. There's a lot of different things you have to check. The gills, the skin. I want to take a picture of them. I can't remember how many different factors you have to check on a mushroom to be positive. but There's another one down there of some different variety it looks like. Here's my second good find. It is uh, part of an underplug. It appears that went into a Civil War artillery shell. Would have screwed in as an underplug. So it's another good find. Another good Civil War find. We're going to keep hunting. Hopefully there's some more in here. Found uh, a couple pieces of exploded shell right in here the other day. And they went on up on that hill, so it's really easy to get lost in this patch of woods. So I've been turned around like four times already. So I'm gonna keep hunting right in this area, though. Maybe something else to turn up. Maybe a fuse. That would be great. Let's keep hunting. I think I may see some over here. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> Look at this big patches of them here. What kind of mushrooms do you guys think these are? They're growing in these big clumps. They look gelatinous right there. I mean, I've eaten a lot of shrooms in my day, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's got nice gills. Pretty rigid top. A little slimy. This was just laying in the middle of the trail here. <clears throat> looks like somebody else has been through this trail because that looks like a wedding band or something. Tungsten. Tungsten carbide. Pretty. I like it. It's not what I'm looking for though. I want artillery. There's another artillery shell fragment. This one was kind of up under this tree. It's excellent. One step closer to putting this shell back together. So, it smells really fragrant out here in the woods right now. The fall is fully falling. Hopefully there'll be some more artillery shell fragments that fell in here as well. So we're going to keep digging. I've not seen or heard from Cassie Lee one bit. Hopefully she's finding some mushrooms that make her happy. So I'm going to keep digging. Keep after it. Still got some beautiful daylight left.
old Cassie Lee's finding mushrooms because I'm finding bunches of them. I don't know where she is. It's a big patch of woods. We'll find each other, I reckon. Nice big chunk of a parrot shell. So I'm on the right track. Hopefully we can get a whole parrot shell out of here today. That's what we're trying for, so. This is called an oyster, or a, a, a pearl or something. Oyster or pearl. So just a few feet away from that last piece of artillery, there was another one. And I, I want to point out, these are signals most people would never dig. It's just nothing but a low tone, just like rrr, rrr, rrr. If I hear another one that sounds like this, I'll uh, let you all hear it and see how it's reacting to this artillery frag. I'm using the AT Pro with the large coil, so. Okay, right here next to where I just got that last signal is another one that sounds a lot like one of these fragments, so I'll let you guys see the numbers first. 18, 26, and then I want you to hear this. So that sounds a lot like another one. It's a really pretty snail right here. We'll get him out of the way so we don't hurt him. And we'll see if this isn't another Civil War artillery fragment, which I suspect it will be. And I suspect it won't be very deep as well, just because uh, I'm using my phone to film with though, so that's kind of hard. Bear with me. set you guys down over here. I don't know. Let's see if the pinpointer goes off. Anywhere obvious. Yeah. Right here. Seems fairly large. <clears throat> Hopefully it's a big old piece of an artillery shell. I'm not taking you guys on a wild goose chase. That looks like a piece of an artillery shell to me. Right there. Sure is. Hey, another piece of that exploded parrot shell. So that's three pieces here in just a few feet. I might be able to find the whole thing and put it back together. That would be amazing. So let's see if we can keep turning some more of these up. Another great day in the life. I'm out here with Cassie Lee, kind of. She's somewhere out here. But there's definitely Civil War relics. There's definitely mushrooms. Let's get some more. Well, that's sort of an unusual item. I've never seen anything like that before. Anybody have any idea? What that is, I mean it was made that way, whatever it is, it's got like a cleat here and a flat spot right there, odd. Well, I think I got another piece of an artillery shell here underneath of this root and I'm hoping it's the base. It's kind of sounding a little different, I may be wrong but uh, I think it's a piece of artillery shell right there should be great. I'm gonna try and set you guys up like somewhere to see as I'm digging. I don't know what you'll see or what you won't, but 
I gotta have both hands for this part. So. <clears throat> Roots making it really difficult. Yeah, it's definitely part of an artillery shell. Excellent. There it is right there. And there's, I don't know if that's got part of the base or not. No, it doesn't. But that's a big sidewall out of uh, a parrot shell. Another great find. That's uh, four pieces of artillery. Probably the same shell. It's all been found right in this little area. So I'm hopeful that it was a ground burst and that it's laying all right in here. Now it's raining and lightning pretty hard. And Cassie is still in the woods. So I'm about to go try and find her so we can get out of here. Maybe she found some mushrooms. But it is raining and this is on my phone so some really nice civil war artillery shell fragments though parrot shell excellent day in the life we're back at the house here's some of cassie lee's mushrooms she got probably a pound of oyster mushrooms and a whole bunch of these honey mushrooms so she did better than me she's gonna try and cook them up now it's another great day in the life. Hope you guys had a great day in the life. See you next time.